Good evening and welcome to Catholic Central High School series of O Antiphon prayer services. My name is Deacon Dennis Rubicki and I want to welcome you to this service uh, during Advent in this last week as we prepare for the coming of our Lord at Christmas. The O Antiphons have been chanted by the people of God since the 8th century and it represents some of the most beautiful and evocative poetry about the coming Christ. Using images from both the Old and New Testament, we get a further glimpse into who we are waiting for, who will be coming into our lives through the incarnation at Christmas time. We are very fortunate to have a wonderful array of speakers and preachers who will be opening up these images each evening for us. And so we just invite you to pray along as a family, as alumni, as students, parents, anyone associated with Catholic Central as we together wait for Emmanuel. God, Come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble his way. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who lived in a land of gloom, a great light has been shown. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at harvest. As they exalt when dividing the spoils for the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that trampled in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for fire. For a child is born unto us, a son is given to us. Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. Upon David's throne over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. O rising sun, splendor of eternal light, son of justice, come and shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death. In the places where God is absent in the world is where we as a society, we as a community need him the most. Amongst those whose hearts, whose minds, whose very spirits have been hardened by seeds of oppression and seeds of hatred is where we need God's son of justice to shine. In the spaces, atmosphere, and in the hearts of people shrouded in the darkness of the COVID-19 pandemic, is where we exhort with great expectation and great faith the rising sun to shine. When the earth was without form and without void, covered in darkness, he shined. When a flood came to destroy the world, he shined. When corruption and immoral behavior fell upon God's people, he still shined. When your people, when the people were lost in the wilderness, when God's people were lost in the wilderness, he shined. When David went into battle with Goliath, he shined. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown into the fiery furnace, he shined. When God took on human form and took up a cross to bear the weight of our sins and darkness covered the earth, he shined. It is said that the power of life and death lies within the tongue. As Christians, we are to speak to things that are not as though they already are. Brothers and sisters in Christ, it is my earnest encouragement to you that we put our faith into action like never before this Advent season. To those listening under the sound and power of my voice, begin to pray the rising sun over the places that you thought would be dark forever, over marriages that are in trouble, over unsolvable solutions, over deadly disease, over acts of bigotry, hatred, and oppression, over popular culture that 
draws us away from our faith-filled lives and our journeys as Christians over the spirit of division that exists within our nation, begin to speak and proclaim the rising sun of Jesus Christ. That is the goal. That is the rising sun. Become the rising sun. Jesus exhorts the disciples and says, go to all nations and baptize, making disciples of all. That is becoming the rising sun. Oh, rising sun, splendor of eternal light, and sun of righteousness, come and enlighten those sitting in darkness, in the shadow of death. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Oh, We humbly pray to Jesus Christ who rescues us from the darkness of sin and in faith we cry out, come Lord Jesus. Lord, gather together all the people of earth and establish with them your everlasting covenant. Come Lord Jesus. Lamb of God, you came of old to take away the sin of the world. Purge us from the dregs of our guilt. Come Lord Jesus. You came to recover what was lost. Come once again in your mercy, lest you punish what you have recovered. Come, Lord Jesus. Our faith seeks you out. Let us find everlasting joy with you when you come. Come, Lord Jesus. You will judge the living and the dead. Graciously gather the dead into the ranks of the blessed. Come, Lord Jesus. And with this, we pray the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O oh God, you are the eternal light, and your love never ends. We give you praise and thanks 
for the glad tidings that accompany your, the birth of your son. May the radiance of your glory push back the darkness of our world and once more renew the face of the earth. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.